welcome back to Fromania Bricks. And welcome back to the fanciest recording studio on the second floor of our house. Our work in the Lego room is coming along. You can see the shelves are finally filling up. We are uh, trying to optimize space, but there's one problem that we've had in this room that we've still been trying to sort out, and it is lighting. So we initially lit these shelves behind us with these strip lights, and it kind of worked out okay, but it also kind of didn't. There's just a lot of problems with them, and our goal this weekend is to change it all, to completely relight this entire wall, but not only relight that wall, light this entire wall, and that entire wall, and that wall. So the goal this weekend is that all of these shelves will be lit by the end of the weekend. Now let me show you what we're working with and then I'll show you kind of what we're going to change. So right now, the way these shelves are lit, I just have these, uh, these strip lights that are going around every shelf and you can see they run and loop the whole shelf. The problem is, is that I had to cut them in order to fit the shelf. And when I did it, we lost part of the lights. And that just looks kind of goofy, kind of awkward. So that's the first problem. The second problem is, is these lights just will not work all the way down here. See, Caleb's saying no, they won't work all the way down there. So what we're doing, we are going to remove this, remove this, remove this, remove this, and we've got a whole new lighting package. You can see we hung the first set of lights under here just as a sample. Um, these are going to change because I don't like how the cord droops here. But these are going to be really, really cool when they light up. Let me, uh, let me turn these on for you. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So look at the difference of the illumination on the top shelves versus the bottom. Look at how clean that looks it's full of motion we'll be able to lose this ugly wiry mess that goes up the wall here we will have some wires running down but we're not going to have all these different control modules so the goal is to get rid of the old in with the new these lights will be under every single shelf and on the ceiling around the entire room i think this is going to transform and almost put an exclamation point on this room. All right, I could sit and talk about it all day long, but I've got a lot of work to do. So next time you see this room, these lights will be transformed. All right, so lighting project has been underway. When we started this video, I shared with you guys some of the lighting struggles that we were having in this room. And one of the struggles that I didn't talk about yet is that this room only has one ceiling light fixture in it. And the problem with one ceiling light fixture is it's hard to distribute the light, right? We talked about our old fixture when we started this renovation and how dim and dingy it felt in here. And we only have this one fixture behind us. You can kind of see it washing out here on the ceiling. But the problem with one light is that if you pick the wrong light, look, it's still kind of, kind of drab in here. But when you pick the right light. Look at that! Amazing! We actually found, I'm like, oh, there we are. We actually found a lighting fixture that would illuminate the entire room. Look at how bright this is. There are no dark spots on the ceiling. It is amazing. But I'm going to turn it back down a little bit now. Let's, uh, let's darken the mode a little bit. Let's, uh, let's dim it up here. I've got an amazing little app that I'm using. Uh, we're darkening it up a little bit more. Here's why. I have been working for the past several days several. since I first checked in with you at the beginning of the video. It is actually now uh, Tuesday evening. Evening. And on Friday afternoon, afternoon. is when we started this light project. Started it. And <laughs> Just going to start ad-libbing everything you say. And uh, I'm going to make it a little bit darker in here. Yeah. And we're going to go a little bit darker. A little bit more. A little bit darker now little because bit more. because this is this is the moment we've all been waiting for. I uh, let's go a little bit darker. Just a little bit more. Caleb, I need you to uh, to say the the magic words. Go ahead and say them. Alexa, Lego room on. Oh, oh my boat. What? Woo! Oh, look at this. Woo! 
it is going to come into focus here any second for you now. We have now completely illuminated the Lego room with shelf lighting, and it's unbelievable. It's kind of hard to capture in here. You can see the ceiling light is off now, and the room is completely illuminated by shelf lights. I have been measuring and cutting and stringing and hiding wires in this room, and now it's fully illuminated. Now, here's the cool part about this. I have uh, an app for this room as well. We got an app for that. And I'm going to show you something really, really cool. Let's put the display wall behind us here. Uh, that's this wall. And uh, look at look at some of the... Whoa, we just went red. Uh, that's okay, because we can change it again to uh, to a sunrise. This is unbelievable. The amount of options and lights and opportunities that we have to create atmospheres and scenes in here. Uh, it is ridiculous. And the entire room is wired up this way. I am so excited that we finally have a space that will light itself up in a way that we can actually see what we're doing. I'm going to make this room full brightness here. All of the lights Whoa! everywhere on. And it is literally Whoa! like you're standing in the sun now. Project complete. complete. So let me walk you through what we've done here. Walk through. Yes. All right, I'm going to show you guys what we did here. I know a lot of you have Lego collections as well. And you're looking for the best way to display, to illuminate and to create an amazing space to display your Lego. So I want to show with you our whoa, wait, whoa, lighting. Wait, 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 wait. Display your what? Lego your sets. Le your Lego sets. You said Legos. Uh, you said I don't Legos. know. Roll it back. Play you it back. Said, you said Legos. Play it back. You said Legos. To display your Lego. So I want to show with you. All right. We want to show you what we did to create the light in this space. So uh, let me turn the camera around and give you a look here. All right, so here is what we are looking at now. If you remember at the beginning, I just had these little LED strip lights that wrapped around, and as cool as they were, it wasn't that professional, crisp, and clean. And we had a wired up mess as well down the wall. All of that is gone. And we now have this entirely new lighting setup. These are wall down light strings by a company named Govi. We found Govi online as we were looking at lighting options, and I really liked how these lights worked because you could affix them to the ceiling up top here, and then you could put them under every shelf as well. So Govi is the company that we landed with. They were running a remarkable sale of 35% off for Father's Day. I'm not content with just 35% off, so I found a 50% off coupon for all of these lights. So every single shelf has a light kit on it now, and we put one under the bottom for good measure. When you swing around the room, you can see every shelf in the entire room is now illuminated in the same fashion. So we now have total wall illumination, even under these where the storage is, you can see it clears just right. Now all of these lights are fixed with two-sided tape. Really good because they're really solid, really bad because they're now stuck. They are not coming off of the wall without significant damage. Now every single light string has its own independent control and you can see all of the wires that go into this. Because those are in the corner, I'm leaving them as they are. But if you look over here on this wall, you can see that now we have this nice conduit to run the wires through. I am missing an elbow. I threw away this T-joint and I have to dig it out of the garbage. But you can see how well that has now cleaned up the display wall. Down at the bottom, there's not much we can do about that. Each light has a little control module and a bunch of plugs. So we are gonna put something here to cover this, but this is kind of, it's kind of what we have to deal with here. If you look over on this wall, same story, you've got the conduit running from the top to the bottom to disguise the wire. Down at the bottom, it is a little messy, but we clean it up as good as we could. And then over here is the same story. Clean conduit, running down the wall, bit of a rat's nest, but it's done. We now have the room fully 
illuminated. Now, this inches us one step closer to total Lego room completion. And I know there's not gonna be much of like a spectacular unveil because you've seen this thing from start to finish in process as it's moved along, but we're just excited to have it finished. We've still got some cleanup to do. You can see there's stuff around everywhere. We have a, we have a really big mess out in the hallway that we still have to figure out how it's gonna get in here. But we are inching closer and closer to Lego room completion. Now, at dinner tonight, I did have an epiphany. Whoa. And this one kind of makes me nervous. Because these lights are all app driven, we are, we are invested into the success of Govi. Because if Govi goes out of business and their app gets removed from the app store, we spent a lot of money to be in total darkness. Not only that, to get this 3M tape off the wall, we will destroy the walls. That that tape is on there like super glue. And let's just let's just say you guys need Govi lights too. They are not a sponsor. We are not endorsing them. We get no royalties. We get no kickbacks. We just need Govi to succeed so that our room stays lit yeah. up. So that does make me a little nervous. But we are super excited that we now have a fully illuminated Lego room. The shelves are lit up. It's changed the aesthetic in the room. It actually, it looks like a big boy Lego room. Like it yeah. looks like, you know what? I can honestly say this and mean it this time. Welcome to the world's fanciest Lego, LEGO recording, recording studio in our house on the second, second floor. Level. Second I gonna, lore? I was gonna say level. What is a second I was lore? Say the level. Second lore? Oh man. We almost had it. Almost had it. We're getting there. The lighting is truly amazing. Like, look at this. One more time. Just take a look. Look at this. Woo! Look at this. Ah, oh, it is. It, don't look at that. That was. Now, what? 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 It is amazing. I'm so excited. Thanks for uh, joining us on this journey as we remodel the fanciest Lego recording studio in our house, house on, on the, the second, second floor. Floor, 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 floor. On the second floor. floor. You guys are awesome. If you made it this far in the video, I mean, we owe you like a cookie or something because they're not that great. No, you owe us a subscribe. Yeah, you owe us a subscribe. Yeah, Click subscribe below. If you watch the video, below. that means you liked it. And skipping to the end does not count. Yeah, you can't deny that you like it. You actually yeah. kind of like us. Yes, that's you, really nice you of you. You like us. Yes, if you, you watch this entire video, you owe us yeah, subscribe. If you're oh, honest wait. with yourself, like you like us. And yes. click like, subscribe, Ding. join on in the journey. But more importantly than that, go out there and build beauty in the world around you. Yes. Be a luminary in the world around you. You can go from Alexa, turn off the lights. Darkness? To Alexa, turn on the lights. Yeah, I got it! To light. You can be light in the world around you. So go out there, shine brightly, do awesome things, and share your smile. Because smiles, they, they truly, truly are, are contagious. contagious. Do more, do more, share more, and love.